In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Amazon Bedrock service within AWS Lambda in your Python code. The current problem with AWS Lambda is that the Porto3 library which comes natively AWS Lambda is an older one. It doesn't recognize Amazon Bedrock service. So whenever you try to use your Bedrock code with uh, Lambda, it simply fails because it doesn't know what Bedrock service is. The solution to this issue is that we would create Lambda layers and in those Lambda layers, we will be using the Bedrock service and we will add that Lambda layer to our existing Lambda function so that when we use the Bedrock object in our code, the Lambda runtime would be able to recognize it. Okay, so in order to use the latest Boto3 library, what you can do, you can go to this very cool GitHub repository by for K layers, where Keith has already provided some really cool Lambda runtimes or Lambda layers, which you can readily use. This is the link where you can uh, simply grab this arm for the latest Boto3, which is 1.28.57. So all you need to do is to grab this link, copy it, and then go to your Lambda console. Now in this Lambda console, click on layers, and then click on this add a layer on the right hand side. Select the third option, specify an ARN, and paste your ARN here, and then click on verify. And you can see that it has verified it and then just simply uh, click on create or add and it will it should work readily now that was one part as how you can update the boto3 library and if you just want to use the bedrock library that is fine you are done you can start using your bedrock library within your python function but if you also want to use langchain just like i'm doing in my code then you would need to also create another layer with langchain installed and let me show you how you can do it um, from your lambda layers so first you would need to uh, create a simple ubuntu system or any system where docker is installed let me show you how you can uh, do it let me go to my docker or Ubuntu instance. This is my Ubuntu instance. The first thing you need to do is to install the Docker. The command to install the Docker is this, that sudo snap install Docker. I already have it. Um, so I'll just show you the Docker version here. And let me make it a tad bit bigger so that you would be able to see it. Hopefully you would be able to see it now. So you can see that now my um, Docker version is this, which is fine. And now in the next command, what I need to do, I need to pull the latest Python build from Docker's uh, from ECR, which is a Docker um, repository from AWS, and I'll be pulling the public image from here. And if you are using it after a few days and this link fail, then go to this public.ecr.aws, search for build Python 3.10, and then it will give you the latest one. So uh, maybe let me also quickly show you. So go to this website, gallery.ecr.aws, and I will also drop the link in video description. Just search for build dash Python 3.10, press enter. And this is going to give you a lot of uh, lot of options here. Just scroll down a bit, and you would see there is a Sam build dash Python 3.10. Simply copy this link from here, which I'm using, and then use it in your code, where I just showed you that you just need to do sudo docker pull and this image, and it will pull this image to your local machine. Okay, so that's done. Now in the next step, let's um, log into this Docker image. Let me see. Let me grab that command because it's a bit larger. I'll just copy paste the command. So this is uh, what we need to run. So what we are doing here is we are just running the Docker container from that image which we just downloaded, and we are using it in interactive mode, and we are mounting the current mount point where we are with this mount point within the Docker container. 
controllers enter and that's done you can see that the prompt has changed we are logged into the docker container now this is where you can install whatever um, module you want in your lambda so i'm going to install langchain open ai tick token or whatever you want here even we can you can install the latest boto 3 here and just use one layer instead of two because i already added one layer okay so let's get it installed shouldn't take too long and don't uh, install too much in one image because there is a limit on the layer the layer size so make sure that you keep it lean because that is also good if you want to share this layer to other uh, functions just keep it lean and small so that's done now let's zip it zip is in progress let's wait for it to finish that's done let's do a quick ls ltr now grab this file download it to your local system and then because we need to upload this in the layer in the lambda because it has everything so let me grab this and go to my lambda console now log into your aws account go to your aws console you can do it through cli but let's do it from here for now then on the left hand side click on layers and then from layers just click on create layer you will be presented with this screen just give it any name maybe lang layer and then description and then because we have a zip file so upload a zip file select up, click on upload select your file and that's all you need to do and then click on create button and you can see that our lang layer has been created with version one now this is what we need to add into our lambda function so again the exact same process go to uh, your lambda function click on layers add a layer and then specify this arn and this is the air on arn of your new layer which you just created just click on that layer and it will show you the arn um, and then click on add it will add it there and then your lambda function and it will run as sweet um, this code which i just showed you in my vs code let me go back there in my vs code and show you the code so this is the code I just showed you uh, you can run simply and it is using langchain it is using the boto3 which we have just added into our lambda layers so um, this is it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you have tried it and you are struggling if you are getting any errors please let me know and i'll be happy to help out one uh, thing i just want to remind that please make sure that you are using the latest lambda image from the a gallery which i just showed you and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much